Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another Pandora video. So today I am going to be showing you an in-depth look at all of the charms on my cruise bracelet. So if you've been following along, you know that I love to cruise. My mom and I go on way too many and one of our favorite things to do is pick up a Pandora charm from every single port that we go to. Now, a lot of times I have simply added my port charm, I suppose you would call it. You can see my original cruise ship here. Um, the dolphin charm I got the first time I went swimming with the dolphins. Um, and I've simply added that charm to a bracelet that I was working on at the time. Back when I first started collecting, I didn't really have individual themed bracelets like a cruise bracelet. I just had a bracelet and every single time I went somewhere or I did something or I got a charm for Christmas, it went on that bracelet. And I love these bracelets. To me, they're more like memory bracelets than themed bracelets. Um, I'm not ever going to take this apart. You know, this is the first bracelet my husband ever gave me that we put together. It took it took several years to fill this bracelet. It's very special to me. But as my obsession grew and my collection grew, I started to make more themed bracelets. And so uh, this little guy is a cruise themed bracelet. You might have seen my European travel bracelet. These are all also charms I picked up from each port on a European cruise my mom and I went to, went on last year. But this one I've been working on for several years. We have charms from, you know, a cruise I went on with my brother, when I went on with my mom, when I went, and went on with my mom and brother. And so I'm going to show you each charm, uh, tell you if it is from a specific port. Some of them quite specifically say things like Aruba or Cancun or Hawaii or Los Cabos. So um, those are easy, but some of the other ones are also from specific places. Some I just like. Sometimes if there's not an exclusive charm, I will just get, you know, the um, palm tree I got on a stop in Mexico because they didn't have a specific charm to that place. So let's go ahead and get into it and I will show you everything on my cruise bracelet. All right, y'all. Here is my cruise bracelet. Up and close backwards. It's the best way to look at it, don't you know? So I guess let's just pick a side and start there. So I have this on the leather seashell bracelet. I will put all the names up on the screen, but you can see that the clasp is a seashell, which I love. Um, it has the hallmarks inside. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see them. It's so dark in there. I don't think you can see, but it's right inside and it literally just says the S925ALE. There we go. See the S925ALE. Got to angle the sun just right. So from there, we have my blue and rose gold clips. These are silicone lines, so wherever you put them, they will stay and they will stop your charms. Let's see. Pandora on one side, the other side is blink. And they do come in a few different colors. I believe they have, I know they have ones with pink hearts and I believe they have a red version as well. But this, this little cruise charm I thought looked really cute with the blue. And we have our seahorses. And they say we have everything when we have each other. This is from one of the cruises my mom and I took. One of the first ones. So I don't remember exactly where we were. Um, but I still like it. Then Las Cabos. 
So this one we actually got the day we went whale watching out of California um, in Los Cabos. And when we got back to the, uh, the port from whale watching, we were trying to find the Pandora store and we saw two gentlemen with the biggest Marlin you've ever seen just walking along the port. So I did get a whale. I wear him. This him? No. It's this him? Yeah. I wear him individually on an open bangle above this bracelet because I just think he's so cute by himself. But I had to get this one as well because it had the name and the Marlin. So those are my two from that adventure. Then the seashell. This guy's just a cute seashell. I have two shells on this bracelet. Sometimes, like I said, if I can't find a uh, exclusive charm at a port, I will get one of these kind of charms, like the shell or the seahorses. That's just a reminder of that day. S925, ALE on the bottom. I love the CZs. I wish that the, the shell clasp on this had the same CZs, but you know, can't have everything. In our Hawaii dangle with those teal flip flops. And this one is weird because its hallmarks are on the bottom and they say P2 S925 A L E. And then of course, Pandora on the back. So a lot of times when you're on an island, you will find these kind of dangle exclusives. And that's because Pandora sells these uh, blank on the front and different islands and stores have the ability to customize them with their own designs. So you will find these the most often uh, than anything else when you're on a, on a trip, but I like them. Then we have our little uh, cruise ship. He has his anchor and the rope, little windows and the ports, little promenade deck. And on the very bottom, he is engraved with Bonaire. I got this guy and Bonaire. So some stores have the ability to engrave and they will often engrave things on their charms, but when I say often, I mean in all my travels, I've probably seen it twice. So when this guy was engravable, I was like, yes, I want that one. Bon Air. Then we have our starfish. You can see this one. I did an unboxing on it when I first got him. As soon as it came out, I got this bracelet and this starfish and the rose gold. I just loved it and I had to have it and I knew that would be the start of my cruise charm bracelet. It's the end of that sentence. Smooth on both sides of the bale. And then the back side of the starfish has that little heart, all that detail. But all those turquoise CZs, y'all, they just sparkle. They're so pretty. Next to him is the OG mermaid. I tracked her down. She has that wonderful oxidation that the older charms have. Little seashells, all the scales on her tail. Look at that tail. You can see her hair. She has a starfish or two in her hair. She's just, she has all that detail. The older terms really did, like, it's crazy. I like the new terms too, but it's just, a, they're different. They're smoother, less detailed than the older terms tended to be. The older terms just worked with so much line work. So she is my centerpiece. Then uh, my dolphin, this is the new dolphin. So the old dolphin I have on my first bracelet. This one I got 
I went swimming with the dolphins a second time uh, and swimming with sea lions that day, which was fabulous. But there's not a sea lion charm, so S925 ALE. I just suffered through and bought a second dolphin. They are different. The original charm is all silver, whereas this one has the blue teal color to him. He's very pretty on this blue bracelet. Then we have our Aruba charm. So he's got the turtle and the plumeria on one side with the C's. It's an open work charm. And he says Aruba with the starfish on the other side. Right on the bottom there, S925 ALE are the hallmarks. This is the old uh, palm tree with the CZs and the trunk. He's got the CZs on the bale. S925 ALE. It's got the P2. He has the older, chunkier bale. He is very pretty. I picked him up off of the coast of Mexico on the same whale watching cruise out of California. I'll try to put the ports that I got each of these charms up on the screen. I've got it all written down, but I don't always remember off the top of my head. A lot of the ports kind of start blending together after a while. And my second shell, I love those little teeth. And then it has like inlaid CZs. They're very pretty. S925 ALE. Cancun. So this I got on my trip with my little brother, just the two of us. It was supposed to be my brother and my mom, but my brother got his dates mixed up. So I ended up having to switch things around. He's a school teacher, so he got his spring break wrong. And this one is on the bottom as well. S925. A L E. I wonder why some say P2 and some don't. I'll have to look that up. I'm sure there's a reason. Last but not least, we have our uh, ocean sea catcher. It's got the starfish, the little shell dangles. And then at the very top, it says. Every seashell has a story. I am so nearsighted, you guys. I just cannot read that through the lens of the camera. Sorry. S925 ALE. I love this one. And I love that it has that little bit of rose gold. I kind of wish the starfish was rose gold, but he is super detailed. And that is it. My entire cruise bracelet as it currently stands. So the goal with this one is that eventually I am going to have, you know, th the main terms are finished and I'm just going to keep adding dangles to it till I have lots of dangles, two, three, all, you know, like next to each other. I really like with travel bracelets to just have dangles everywhere. I don't know why, makes me happy. So I'm going to keep adding these as we go to different islands and we'll see. I'm not necessarily looking to fill up this bracelet. Uh, the new leathers do last and hold a lot more weight. The original leathers, I would not put this many charms on because the glue on those, uh, they popped open very easily. But the newer leathers seem to be fine with holding weight. They have obviously addressed that issue. If I eventually get too many to fill this up or I feel like it is not going to hold, then I will get a second one 
of some kind to add more dangles to and perhaps just keep some of the nondescript older charms on this specific bracelet. So at the moment though, I'm loving it. I hope you guys enjoyed this little look at my ocean cruise bracelet. If you want to check out my mom's cruise charm bracelet, she has some different charms on hers. I will link that below. But in the meantime, oh, I'm off to do something else. I don't even know what's next on my list. We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.